Patterson River has been here for about 55 years. The school's got a long history in tech education. I'm so passionate about bringing Patterson River into the 21st century because the, the kids are our future, that's what it's about. Yeah, the challenge for us was pivoting from a very traditional approach to technology education. As a principal I was seeing that we had students coming in and when you'd ask them what do they enjoy about school and what they're enjoying doing, they'd often talk about coding, even uh, robotics at times and so on. And I saw that, well that doesn't fit in very well with what we're doing here at the school. Uh, and the other big driver for us was seeing the changing landscape and technology in the workplace, uh, particularly around advanced manufacturing and even in uh, trades and so on. The, uh, a lot of the advanced equipment that uh, people in the workplace are starting to use. And we keep hearing about you know jobs for the future and where the jobs lie. It's really important I think for technologies to grow um, in our school because again we're trying to set the kids on a pathway that they will be relevant when they leave the place. We had been using laser cutters for a few years. We were seeing the students quite engaged in some of that design work and we wanted to incorporate that into a lot of the timber work that we did. Uh, and when we were researching and having a look at other um, industries and uh, with the tech schools and so on, uh, we came to the conclusion that uh, CNC routers would fit a need for us here at the school. In researching machines to use for the school, we needed something that was going to be quite robust, uh, simple to use. But one of the things that factored in to the decision on the machine that we got was the fact that it was, it was a larger footprint. The kids, a lot of their projects revolve around building cabinets, coffee tables, that sort of thing. So we wanted something that they could potentially put doors or tabletops or something, sort of the larger projects in. It wasn't restricting to only small items. So our CNC machine definitely aligns with the future of manufacturing and we wanted to ensure that the CNC machine um, is very capable of the needs of the school and that your needs and understanding of this technology can grow to a point that you don't outgrow the features available of our machine. We have managed to get the entire footprint of this machine within a 2 metre by 1 metre space um, but you can still work with sizeable projects whether you're a CNC beginner, you become an intermediate user, or you become a more advanced user in the future. I mean, the, the students are still learning, so there's bound to be mistakes made. And when mistakes are made, you know, it needs to be done in a safe environment. Safety is our number one priority uh, after actually teaching the students. And you can't have students being able to interfere with the machine while it's turned on. Uh, there's sharp things spinning at a great rate of RPM. <laughs> Having the CNC router enclosed in the, the case was fantastic feature to it. One of the major features of the enclosure is that it's also interfacing with our controlled software. So once the student or teacher um, hits go and the machine is active, you cannot get into the machining space. The only way you can get back into that machining space is by activating one of the e-stops or stopping the process in its path. Um, the interlock doors will then open, allowing you to get into the machining space. The main benefit of operating that way is that no matter what the experience or knowledge is, you can't get into the hazardous space when the machine is active and live. Uh, we can get pretty close to it comfortably. Um, make sure our, our um, drill bit's nice and close to the corner when we're getting everything set up. And when it's going, we feel comfortable not getting flicked with, um, with wood chips and stuff like that. So yeah, it's really, really quite comforting to have that there. My favourite feature of our safety enclosure is the full 360 degree view of the entire machine. It's important for me to watch the machine, what it's doing, to make sure it's doing what I want. And make sure it's not getting hung up on itself or something's gone wrong with the clamps or user fault, stuff like that. Being able to see what we're doing, very helpful, very, very important to us. We've got polycarbonate panels on all sides. We've got two large access points from the front of the machine and the side of the machine so that you can reach all areas of the machine, front, back, left and right. We've got the safety e-stop on each corner of the machine so if anything was not to go as planned you could safely disarm the machine and stop uh, the machine in its tracks. 
favourite thing about the machine, honestly, is the simplicity. Uh, it's very straightforward, it's easy to use, it's easy to maintain. A big part of my job is the maintenance of equipment, so I need something that's, you know, I don't need to get specialist help in for. I would definitely recommend the I2R router. Uh, it has been really easy to use. The results that the students have come up with have been fantastic. The, the student reaction has been phenomenal. They love it. You know, you, you have the machine starting up. They have that the whir of the motor spooling up, and it just all eyes turn to it. They love it because you know it has parallels with pedestal drills or like a regular hand router that they might have already used, but it's moving on its own. Yeah, and that sort of just blows their minds a bit.